entire process of data visualization. So as we were discussing in the previous slides, first of all, data is collected from all the places uh, in unstructured or structured format. That is from your cell phones, from your transactions, uh, from the online surfing you do on the browsers, uh, from the orders you place on uh, various food portals, or uh, from the likes and dislikes of you on, on social sites and professional sites. All this data is collected and then this data is supplied to a data mining tool like R or Microsoft Azure ML or uh, Python, any of these data uh, tool you can use to analyze this data, to analyze the data unstructured or structured, uh, machine to machine or logs, you can all collect all this data and analyze this data to uh, have some predictions, to uh, create a model which can help you uh, easily predict that what is going to happen in the future with the sales of this particular company or what is uh, the target customer uh, for this particular kind of brand to sell its product. So once you have created such a model, now you have predicted your outputs, but for you to show your outputs to the end user, you have to visualize them. You have to create graphs, charts, and other forms of visually appealing stuff and share it to the end user in the form of graphs or dashboards the live interactive dashboards, such dashboards where uh, the end user uh, is given a liberty where they can change a parameter of the inputs manually and based on their change in the parameter they can dynamically see the change in the graph real time so they should be able to see the real time dynamic change in their graphs so for that for giving them this amount of dynamic visualization we use tools like tableau so i think by now everyone is clear of the process of the data visualization like what exactly is the data visualization process so next we'll see what tableau is actually it's basically a data visualization tool uh, which is used in business intelligence industry and it helps in simplifying raw data into understandable format if i would like to mo go more technical i can simply say that it's a bi tool designed to make data flow manageable and allowing organizations to turn their unstructured structured machine to machine logs data into something actionable and insightful for their business stakeholders to make decisions out of them. So it was developed by a group of three individuals, Pat, Christian and Chris in Seattle, Washington, USA. And uh, the company who founded this product was also named Tableau. And this was uh, uh, this product Tableau was their uh, flagship product. This company's USP was the Tableau product itself. That's why they named themselves as Tableau. And one of the great things about Tableau tool is it doesn't require any technical or programming skills for its operators. Like if you want to be a Tableau developer, if you want to be a Tableau designer, you are not expected to know any code. You are not expected to have any technical skills. So a simple graduate uh, or a simple uh, postgraduate without any technical knowledge of coding can easily work as a Tableau developer and earn a lot of money. So interactive dashboards can be created using Tableau and these can be customized as per the end user's requirements. So one thing is you just create and share a graph. Another is you create and share a dynamic graph by dynamic graph. I mean, supposedly you have shared the graph, which is in the form of stacked bars. Now, if you give the user an option to uh, change the runtime input, supposedly uh, you have shared line chart to the uh, end user where you are showing the change in the sales. Okay. This supposedly, this is the line chart you have shared to the end user where you are showing the change in sales of a product over time to the end user. Now, what if I give the end user to change the sales data or to change the time interval, the year dynamically. And based on that, you can, uh, he can dynamically change the, he can dynamically see the change in the graph. So I would repeat that again by interactive dashboards. I mean that supposedly I'm drawing a graph, which is showing me the relationship between the sales of a product over time. And to the end user, I give an option that they can change the time range uh, to the value they want. And based on the change in the time range, they'll see a dynamic change in the line graph over here. 
so that is known as making your graph interactive making your dashboard interactive so tableau provides you that feature this is one of the most stand apart feature of uh, these bi tools and tableau connects and extracts the data source in various places so if you if you have your data source placed at a server which you cannot access locally means supposedly uh, for each time you have to create a dashboard or if you have to perform analysis using a data and that data is placed in your company's server which is not accessible to you locally at your home or maybe if you are traveling in a ship or a plane where you cannot directly connect to that tableau server's data or that server's data so for that what you can do is within your tableau workbook you can import that data and create an extract out of that so whenever uh, you are not able to connect to the original data source you can connect to the data source locally saved in your tableau workbook which is just a replica of the data you had on your server and then whenever you get a chance to connect to your server you can refresh the data with your tableau workbook so this is one of the most good features apart from this the best features of tableau are data blending where uh, we can combine data from various sources like excel or oracle or db or maybe some other data sources uh, you can combine them together into a single workbook of tableau and then real time analysis means you using uh, features like uh, uh, we had discussed previously while creating interactive dashboards uh, means you, uh, i give the user an option to change a particular field value and based on that the graphs can real time dynamically change that is known as real time analysis that is provided by tableau then collaboration of data you can uh, get uh, multiple tables together from various uh, uh, within the same data source you can get multiple uh, tables together and you can use them for for performing a particular analysis so all of these features are available in tableau then we'll see what is a tableau developer so okay i know you have enrolled in this course and uh, you will be completing this course but what is in our for you like once you complete this course what is in it for you what will you get out of learning this course so let's talk about money first of all uh, a professional who creates solution to enhance business processes via data visualization is a tableau developer so if you learn tableau these kind of words will be used for you that you will be a professional who creates a solution to enhance business process via data visualization so you will be a tableau developer the person like this and if i talk about the salary of a tableau developer then in in the us market you will see the people uh, of uh, one to two years of uh, tableau experience easily earning somewhere between $99,000 to a whooping uh, $158,000 if they have experience of more than 5 years on tableau then within the indian market you say uh, based on the experience their salaries easily range from 8 to 12 lakhs annually but the expected skill sets out of you as a tableau developer they are mentioned over here so first of all uh, the data visualization and design so you must be very creative see everyone is going to uh, learn the course or everyone is going to get the data but if uh, you are quite creative and you can create good designs which can help the end user talk to the graph or uh, by talk to the graph i mean that your graph should be so much appealing that just looking at the graph at once just looking at the dashboard at once the ceo or cxo levels should be able to make decision they should be able to understand the that where the problem lies within their business so if you have got the skill of creating the dashboards in such a way then you will be uh, surely excelling uh, as a tableau developer then apart of from data visualization and design you should also have a mathematical reasoning means basic mathematical reasoning like uh, uh, knowing mean median mode or having some stats interest like uh, basic uh, arithmetic calculations like mean median mode sum average if you have basic knowledge of that mathematical reasoning that would help then you should have database skill a bit of data base skill is also required means if in case you have to extract the data from a database you should know the basic sql queries to fetch the data and you should know where to apply what type of join that, that is basic requirement and then uh, extract transform and load uh, that is what you do uh, when you extract data and uh, uh, transform it into the form you want and then you load it into your tableau workbook to perform further analysis so if you are becoming a tableau developer then out of all the skills 
one of the skills which has got highest weightage is this one so i would say that 50 percent lies on this okay for you to be a tableau developer successful tableau developer 50 percent wage which lies to this part if you know this quite well then 50 percent your skill is done rest three will be covering the 30 percent and then you must be thinking that what about the rest 20 percent so that rest 20 percent depends upon your communication skills and your confidence means although you have uh, built up the uh, dashboard very nicely you have even uh, given uh, the mathematical reasoning calculations wherever it was required but if you are not able to communicate to the end user of cxos what you are trying to uh, show then it will be a useless uh, skill or you will be useless for them so 20 percent is your presentation skills or more than presentation skills i would say your confidence on the uh, data you have you are uh, displaying the data you have visualized or the way you are able to explain it to the end user so that was about a tableau developer uh, but one thing to note again i am telling you that for a tableau developer you are not required to be technical person you can be someone who is not even related to code who has got no background into coding that would also be okay and you can easily become a tableau developer and consultant and you can easily earn in a salary range from 99,000 to 158,000 USD in US in places like California city and SFO. And if you are in India, you can earn easily in the range of eight to 12 lakhs. If you are in cities like Gurgaon, Mumbai, Bangalore, Delhi, or maybe Hyderabad for that. So that was all about the W developer.